Weapon System. Air-to-air -air weapons have advanced over the years to increase their effectiveness. Aircraft started with the same types of machine guns you would find a soldier carrying in the field. Machine guns were a natural choice for air-to-air -air due to their design for high rate of fire, typically of rates of 300 to 1800 rounds per minute. These were later replaced or supplemented with auto cannons, or cannons for short. Cannons are an evolution of the machine gun and are still fully automatic. The main difference being the increased calibre of the projectile, generally 20mm or larger. When the term cannon is used on its own, it generally refers to a single barreled weapon. Single barrel, large calibre cannons had generally lower rates of fire than machine guns due to excessive heat generation. Modern cannons were upgraded to have multiple rotating barrels. This allowed for extremely high rates of fire by distributing the heat built up over several barrels. Modern rotary cannons have rates of fire of up to 10,000 rounds per minute. Star Citizen spacecraft weapons follow along similar lines to air-to-air -air guns. Each weapon in Star Citizen can have three major attributes. Projectile, type, and size. Projectiles can be either ballistic or energy. Ballistic weapons use a traditional projectile fired at high speed. The impact of the projectile causes the damage to the ship. Ballistics have the advantage of shield penetration, that is, the projectile is not stopped by the ship's shield, but are limited by having to carry the ammunition. Ammunition size directly relates to the damage inflicted. Ship armour mitigates damage from ballistic weapon projectiles. Energy weapons use highly focused energy to inflict damage. Each weapon draws energy from the ship's power plant to fire. Energy weapons are blocked from damaging the hull by the ship's shields. Energy weapons have the advantage of not requiring ammunition, however they place a higher demand on the power plant than ballistics do. Energy weapons are generally laser weapons, but can also include specialised weapons such as plasma scatter guns that act like shotguns, and distortion cannons which degrade ship systems without causing actual damage. Both energy and ballistic weapons can either be cannons or repeater types. Cannons are single barrel, slow firing weapons, with repeaters being multi-barrel and high rate of fire weapons, similar to rotary cannons in real life. Cannons have the advantage of high damage per projectile, but a slower rate of fire, favouring accurate targeting. Repeaters have the advantage of a high rate of fire with low damage per projectile. This allows the projectiles to be warped onto the target allowing for adjustment of aim whilst firing. Weapon sizes are numbered according to their physical volume, its potential damage output and also limits the weapon mount that they can be fitted to. Weapons start from size 1 for small fighters such as the Merlin and work their way up to size 10 capital class sizes for something like a Javelin destroyer. All weapons create heat when fired that must be dissipated by the ship's coolers. When excessive heat buildup in the weapon is detected, the weapon rate of fire will automatically be reduced to prevent system damage. Weapon heat or overheat is displayed on the combat visor interface at the top left of the screen. Every weapon, regardless of projectile and type, have differing projectile speeds which can also be referred to as muzzle velocity. The weapon's different muzzle velocity will affect its associated pip location, as displayed by the Intelligent Target Tracking System, or ITTS. A video explaining ITTS is linked in the description. Having a good understanding of the different types of weapons available for the spacecraft in Star Citizen will allow you to customise your weapon loadout to suit your playstyle, while understanding their pros and cons. Good hunting pilots. For more information on how spacecraft systems work in Star Citizen, please refer to the spacecraft flight manuals found on the community hub on the RSI website. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.